Hello friends, Edbud here, and it's about that time for some running news. Hope you're all doing fine out there, you're staying safe, you're still social distancing, and most importantly, still running. Story number one today surrounds the Hamburg Marathon. So that Hamburg Marathon still appears to be on, although there are a few caveats to that. I think at the moment they don't have the city's kind of approval to actually run the race. They're hoping to put in place a load of measures so they can get that approval. At present, Germany has a ban on very large events with lots of people. I think that ban extends on till October 24th, which is way after when the marathon will actually be run. They've currently got a date slated of the 13th of September. I think you've got about 14,000 participants across both the marathon and the half marathon, and they're having to put in place a load of specific hygiene measures to make sure that everybody's safe. So some of those things will include separate start and end points for both the marathon and the half marathon. They're gonna stagger the start of the events, not only the half marathon event, but the marathon event, and then stagger the starters as well. So there'll be loads of different groups. I think there's like a 10 minute gap between the different groups. At least that's what they've slated as an idea. I believe there'll be different corrals and they're gonna group the runners, so I'm not sure exactly how. Also, alongside water stations, I believe they're gonna be sanitization stations as well. It's very hard to say that. They propose to give a special scarf, like mouth covering, to all runners, and they have to wear those before and after the race. I think also if they're in any sort of race areas as well, where other people are, they've got to wear those special mouth coverings. There's only gonna be 30 elite runners taking on the marathon distance and they're only from certain countries as well that germany at the moment or i don't know whether they'll revise this but at the moment they deem those countries to be safe but all 30 of those athletes are going to have to be tested prior to the race as well so they're certainly putting a lot of measures in place there whether hamburg allowed them to do the event well let's hope they can but let's hope everybody stays safe as well story number two surround Saucony and the release of their Endorphin series. So many keen running shoe enthusiasts would have woken up this morning hopeful to get one of the new Endorphin Speed or Endorphin Shift running shoes. Though it appears in the UK at least that the Speed sold out very quickly. I have to be honest I was lucky to get a pair because I was kind of a bit busy this morning doing other stuff and I forgot but I did manage to secure a pair of the Speed so look out for that review in the very near future. I think most of the larger sizes just sold out straight away, so maybe they only had a few. I think poor old Tim Gross missed out again. Sorry, Tim. Maybe you could invest in some extremely thin socks, Tim, so that you can get into some of the slightly smaller sizes. That Speed model obviously has the Pibax-based midsole, the Power Run PB, an interesting cake mix with nylon plates, the Speed Roll technology, and of course that lovely breathable mesh upper. It really is lovely and breathable. An eight mil drop. Only hours after the shoe had landed, most stores had sold out. Most of the retailers, they were just gone in a flash. I guess if you're gonna call your shoe the Endorphin Speed, then you've got to expect it to sell out pretty quick. I think the shift was a little more available. I think there were a few sizes when I looked moments ago. Of course, that's their easy day shoe, perhaps a slightly weight relieved answer to the Triumph 17. Again, with the speed roll technology. Bit of a lower stack height drop on that one, only a four mil. Only a few retailers appear to have the speed. So if you were lucky to pick up a pair, please let me know down in the comments. Seems like a lot of people are after that one. If you did get them, enjoy. It's just a crazy time for shoes right now. So many releases. I think it was Mr. Random in the comments earlier on said that there were around 10 shoes released today. That's just bonkers. What do you reckon, Beast? So that Adidas Adi Zero Pro draw occurred on Monday and I came out with a big <coughs> Sadly, no dice for me this time. I'm never lucky on those draws. They never quite happen for me. I think I did win a bottle of whiskey once at a raffle, but that was about it. Did you manage to pick up a pair? in the draw? Let me know in the comments. Certainly a somewhat odd and confusing method to launch a running shoe, especially at the moment. Or is it a weird way to do it? The Nike sneakers app has used this method very, very frequently over the last couple of months, especially releasing their Dunk SB models. All these sneakerheads and 
shoe enthusiasts seem to love that model. I think it's a way of stopping people from using bots to try and buy loads of the shoes up, lots and lots of sizes, and then try and resell them at extortionate prices. I think perhaps with current production issues that are obviously affecting some of the manufacturers, it's perhaps a slightly fairer method to try and distribute the small numbers of shoes they've got to runners out there that actually can really benefit from them. But I've got to be honest, I'm yet to find anybody that's actually successfully managed to get a pair in that drawer. If you have, let me know. What are your views on this type of event? Do you think that's a better way to distribute the shoes? Having a drawer where everybody can enter and state which size that they want? Or do you feel it's a bit like potluck and perhaps people that could really benefit from them or perhaps really do want them and aren't gonna to try to resell them should have another way. I'm not sure what that way could be. Have you got any suggestions as to how they should do it? Sadly, it just seems to lead to a lot of disappointment for all of us. Never mind, at least I managed to pick up the endorphin speed. Oh yeah. I wonder if they'll have the same smell as the endorphin pro. We will find out. I'll do a smell test on that one for you. Everyone loves the smell test. Story four. I had a bit of a hunch that running shoe sales may have increased over the pandemic and I was right. Lots of information came out the last couple of days about huge increases in sales of running shoes. Typically in such an event, athletics equipment and things like that takes a real nosedive, but running shoes have actually increased. Reebok themselves saw a double increase in terms of their online sales. I wonder why? On running saw a 200% increase in terms of their e-commerce. I think it took a little bit of a drop and then went up. Obviously, Sock and EF saw some superb growth with the release of their Endorphin series. I know the Pro came out uh, around about a month ago now. And of course, there's a huge amount of interest in the new Endorphin line with the speed and the shift. I think they got all the bases covered there with their strange smelling shoes. New Balance and Brooks also stated that they've seen an increase in running shoe sales. Reebok stated that it was the Float Ride Energy 2 that was the big seller for them. I mean, when you're selling that shoe at £29, it's a no-brainer really, isn't it? Not sure how anyone can compete with that. So, good to see that Reebok slightly overlooked their slightly increasing their sales. Certainly seems that running shoes have bucked the trend in terms of commerce. It's all those new runners getting out there in their Energy 2s and their SL20s. As a running shoe enthusiast, that's good news. That's all the running news for today. We've got a quick musical interlude. Where I've been feeling a bit tired, I've needed some music while I've been out running that really energizes me and gives me a bit of an extra impetus. So I turned to Andrew WK's second album, The Wolf. Never Let Down and I Love Music are my favorite selections from his second album. I do recall going to see Andrew WK with some friends of mine way back on the release of this album, and it was a gig I shall never forget. I managed to get on stage with Andrew, uh, with my arm around him, wearing my Andrew WK t-shirt while he did Party Hard. It was a particularly good moment of my life. And I think I managed to dive off the stage at some point. I remember getting very, very wet and I had to buy another Andrew WK t-shirt to go home in because I was saturated. Good times, good times. I do recall never seeing a man playing the piano with such ferocity as Andrew. So definitely want to check out if you want to get the blood pumping. Andrew WK, the wolf. Thanks for watching the running news guys and for watching the channel. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, help the channel out by hitting that subscribe button and clicking the bell for notifications of when Beast and I launch our new videos. It really does also help the channel if you hit that like button. Share it with your running buddies. My name's Ed Bud, and I'll be seeing you.